Good morning, folks. This is Wyatt with Triad Dirt Works. Going to show you a little drainage project we're going to work on today and hopefully get wrapped up. It's not a whole lot, kind of a very selective deal here. So, as you can see here, we got a long driveway and it goes all the way up to the house. And everything seems to be sloping to this one central point. It's like everything from the, the street side comes down through here. And then from the house side, it comes down here too. And there's a lot of silt on the driveway and stuff. So they wanted to uh, see if we could help them out and install a uh, catch basin and some pipe to get it taken care of. And upon digging right here, dad actually found a old catch basin that was already in this place. And you can see the aftermath you can see the aftermath of uh, what silt and stuff will do to a drainage system. And I don't know how long this system's been in, but it is just cake full of mud and roots and grass and stuff. Here's the grate right here. And uh, there's just no way that water was getting through there. So we're gonna come in and uh, fix it. And I do wanna mention one thing. Anytime you got roots and a lot of silt and stuff like this happens, they've got a really good stance of grass. And we're actually gonna be sowing this part right here after we get done and kind of matching it with the rest of the grass. We'll be doing that as well. But anytime you got a lot of silt and debris and mud and stuff, you gotta take proper uh, protocol on cleaning that stuff out and keeping it well maintained. So this system is definitely, given that there was a system in here already, it's definitely not one that you can just put in the ground and walk away from it and forget about it. You're gonna to have to pop that catch basin lid and you're gonna to have to clean that debris and stuff out and, and keep that pipe as clean as possible given the amount of debris that comes down this driveway and stuff. So that's kind of the, the basic premise on what we're working on here today. We're gonna to install that drain line and after we get done with that, we're going to install, or not install, but sow this grass here and get everything buffed up, graded out and uh, get it going. So it's gonna be a little short project, but hang around, you might learn something. And uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, folks, I wanna mention something right here that I didn't mention before. So we had this yard located. And when I did the, the locate ticket, I specified front of the property, which um, as you see, this is the front of the property but on my positive response and when we got out here it says that everything was outside of the stated work zone which is all fine and dandy um you know that that's that's okay but what has us concerned is we've got a well right here which they wouldn't mark any anyways because that's a private line they wouldn't mark so we got that line to kind of contend with and we do have power up there and i'm not sure which way it's running because they didn't mark it so we're kind of we know we're in the good but we still want to be sure we still don't want to hit anything and that's our biggest obstacle right now so what we're having to do is we got the top layer off got the top layer off right here and weston actually located the well high or the well pump and the water line and it actually comes through here somewhere it's about 2.5 feet so we're gonna scratch the surface off and dig this by hand just to be sure we also have another wire right here which goes to this little transformer box or a little pedestal box uh, for these outdoor lighting that you can see on the ground right here so i just really want to touch on even though the locator didn't mark or i say didn't mark they stay they all stated that it was outside of the work zone but when you deal with this stuff folks you've got to kind of open your eyes and, and see all the different obstacles that might be in front of you with or without the locator and point being that well that well station right there there's a little junction box right here for all this outdoor lighting um and the communication lines which is on the back so kind of a little i don't want to say stressful stressful little deal but for the next, I would say, 15 feet or so digging that we're doing, it's gonna be a little nerve wracking trying to get over these lines and try to avoid hitting something because that is 
the last thing that we want to do on any job is hit a line that might cause any kind of inconvenience to the homeowner or client and all that good stuff so i just wanted to kind of give you a little quick notation on that right here and uh we're going to get back to digging and get this drain installed hey guys hey it's marlon hey i know white touched on uh digging this out right here by hand we're digging across these lines right here that weston and white located they hooked on to the well over there we've got a we've got a water line and also a 220 line going to the, the well we've got another line over here we'll show you here in just a minute but what i do want to show you right here in this ditch right here where this line comes across right here when we're digging in here we're, we're digging in pretty much hard ground and the way you can way you can kind of verify where that line goes a lot of times not all the time but a lot of times when you're digging and your shovel won't go in the ground like that you're you're in you're in virgin ground right there it's 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 hard but right here where that line where we come across that line right there if you see that right there how 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 that shovel just went in the ground like that i thought it'd be easy i'll cut that line but that that's that's how you find a ditch line right there you'll you'll dig along you'll dig along we know about where that line's at right there but that will kind of kind of give you i guarantee if we dig down right there about two foot uh 27 inches something like that whatever the locator told us we'll find that line in there now we're not going to bank on that right there we're still going to dig easy and get on out here but that that'll 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 get you into you're in a ditch line right there when you can when you can have loose dirt because that dirt unless they compact that dirt back when they put that in and really tamp it down that dirt will never go back to to being like virgin virgin soil but that's that's a ditch line right there well, you can take your shovel and just just bury it in there like that like that right there so i just thought that i'd point that out to you we, we we've got ball going across there i'm gonna fill that back in we're gonna keep digging we got another line right here a little 110 line i know why it touched on it we don't want to carry any of this stuff up all this stuff's private the locators don't you know it's kind of up to us to do it or if we tear it up we gotta we gotta put it back and fix it and some of them, some of them lines like that, this box on a small job like this, just hitting the water line, it'll ruin your day. I mean, it will, you, you'll wind up maybe hours trying to find the parts to fix something, depending on what kind of pipe it is, what kind of fittings you got to go. You got to go to Lowe's, go to plumbing, plumbing supply store, get what you need. So the best thing, you know, if you can, try to locate that stuff ahead of time. But look, I'm going to get this shoveling here and see if we can get this pipe in here but i just thought i'd mention that to you and uh see if we can get on <clears throat> get on with this project here we'll check back in here in just a little bit hey guys hey this marlin again hey we're on this little project we kind of run across some lines here i know white touched on it and i touched on it a while ago a little bit about some lines that's that the locators don't that they don't uh locate which is private lines private water lines stuff like that there's a little trick and I, I wouldn't count on it to be a hundred percent but we use it sometimes <coughs> we do have a locator to locate this stuff but before locators and all what you do you get you two we take two little old flags little old flags that, and we take the flags off the end and we bend them just like this and i don't know they call them the binding rods or witcher sticks or whatever it is i just call them flags but anyway we bend them like that right there and you put them in your hands <coughs> you put them in your hands like this loosely loosely and you, you and then you walk and you you walk across the line and the, and they will they will cross they will they will cross like that water line electrical line uh some pipe don't know exactly how it works some kind of magnetic force or something the Wesson's going to kind of demonstrate this right here. We've got a line exposed right here, a little a 110 power line right here. And this white this white paint right here represents it in the ground. And you can see where we dug it up. I painted it where you can see it. But check, <coughs> excuse me, check this out and see see, see what you see on that thing when it, when it comes across that line there. <coughs> see how it switched? Let me get a side angle. You see how they cross there? You see how them things move and they'll cross? You gonna back up? They'll cross and that'll give you a <coughs> excuse me. I'll give you an idea about where that line's at. You can dig in there 
But that's back when, when we knew there were some lines in the in the ground back in the day. Same thing over here with this line as well. Uh, we actually located it with a locator and it was showing about three foot deep or so. And uh, we weren't that deep, but same premise as the electrical. He's walking, walking, walking straight, and then bam, they turn. See how that, the turn. And you might think, you know, oh, he's doing that. Well, they're as loose as they can get and they cross, right as he crosses that threshold. So you can call them witches sticks or sorcery sticks or call us warlords, I don't know. But it does work. Um, it does work in some instances. And uh, there you go. So just a little bit of information for you, you know, that might work in, a, uh, in that sense. All right, folks, so we're gonna proof this line right now. I'm gonna dump a five gallon bucket of water down this catch basin and uh, see it out the end. There it is. It's flowing pretty good. How'd it do, yeah? All right, folks, so we got everything covered up, back filled, box set, everything's raked out, uh, hand raked, of course. We've got the Harley rake at the street, but it was such a small area that we just powered through it and uh, did it all by hand, which is uh, no problem at all. So now we're gonna seed and uh, put out the, the lime and fertilizer, get all that stuff going, shake a little bit of straw, it's not gonna take much, and then we'll be wrapped up and get on to the next one. So I uh, just wanna give you a little update here and I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, folks, I wanna show you something simple right here. Uh, it's pretty, Pretty much common sense, but I'm gonna to touch on it anyways. Uh, pretty simple thought process behind this one. But this catch basin, as you see, it's installed. And uh, beforehand, when we put it in the ground, this is something we always like to do or try to do to uh, prevent a bunch of debris and stuff getting into it, like the straw, the seed, the fertilizer, and uh, potentially gumming up the lines while we're working and backfilling and covering up. So we just take some duct tape and we just, simply tape over the, the grate. And uh, I just wanted to touch on that right quick, uh, let you see that process. And, and we did this one pretty good. Let's see if I can get it up. Okay, there it goes. But see right there, just take strips of duct tape and just line it over the grate. There's the backside. So if you can imagine you know, while you're back filling or shaking straw or seed or raking, all that debris winds up into your box and uh, it's not even been in use for the first time yet. So it's always nice just to throw, throw something over it, a piece of plastic or something. That way, when you get done working, you can uh, untape it and uh, let it be the way it's supposed to be. Alrighty, folks, we got this project all wrapped up. Everything's sewed catch basin installed it went in like a champ right here got the tape off the grid or off the uh, grate and there she is and she's kind of sitting in a little bowl so to speak all the water goes to this point naturally anyways and that's why we're I mean that's why we're out here is to uh, fix that problem like I mentioned, the driveway's pitched this way and this is kind of like the center point. So this is where all the water collects and you can see the discoloration in the concrete too. And uh, so we got it out and some PVC. So it's gonna get in that box and roll. 
this little area right here we got it graded out as well but it's kind of a buffer zone it'll eventually probably look like this area right here with some moss and stuff kind of spread on kind of call it no man's land it's like the buffer zone between the leaves and the, and the actual good stance of grass and down here is the uh is the discharge right here you've got it cut off kind of at an angle and we've already proofed the line you saw that guys this is kind of another typical drainage video but really the the main highlight and i didn't you never want to kind of call people out on on their jobs or whatever and uh but on this particular instinct or in this particular job the the locates the ticket was called in the ticket was good but they said that it was marked out of the uh, work zone and i just find it i just find that hard to believe we kind of run into a lot of that with the uh, locating services and stuff. And uh, I know that they're all behind and stuff, but the main point and value of this video, I guess you could say, is be prepared to look beyond the obvious on certain situations. You know, if you're, if you're doing this yourself, if you're another company, this be conscious about that situation because when you're messing with underground utilities it is no joke um kind of the old saying is gas and power kill you and a fiber optic line will bankrupt you and uh folks they're not lying uh that those three things can very well happen if you hit a gas line that's not good you're talking about evacuating homes you're uh talking about shutting down golf courses <laughs> uh we've had it happen um you know beyond our control but it does happen and it's very dangerous. Same thing with, with, the, uh, with the electrical lines. Um, you know, you hit that thing the wrong way, it could shock, it could run electricity right up to you and kill you. I mean, just like that instant. So this stuff seems pretty safe and seems pretty leisure-like, but it can hurt you. Um, it, it can hurt you. So it's very important on those different aspects about the locating deal to get that stuff done and, and get it located properly. And, you know, I, I, on this specific, uh, incident I s requested that the front property get you know uh, marked and as you can see there is no marks at all and I know it's here uh, I mean it is here the way this house sits you've got a big power junction box over there and I know it runs up the left side of this driveway I mean there I mean it doesn't run overhead it has to run underground from that big pedestal out there so I know it's running somewhere down that side of the property and even though that is the front face of the property they still didn't mark it so and and you we could have called and, and, and raised cane with a locate company but then that would have delayed us three that I mean that would have delayed us at least three or four hours sitting here twiddling our thumbs because they have protocols that they got to follow too. So just a big, big wash, and you just got to make a decision. Um, you can either stop or you go on what they say and you do a little bit of the investigating yourself, which is exactly what we did on this project. We've got a line locator. We hooked up to this well, which they wouldn't have located no way, and uh, found a couple other power lines and just try to walk around the house and get a visual about where this stuff comes in at. So that's mainly and i'm babbling on now and uh you know kind of beating a dead horse so to speak or at least for us this might be the first time you guys ever hear about this kind of stuff that goes on but um on the back end of things locates are a huge deal they're very important i come from a background in the telecommunication world about everything that we did revolved around locates and uh and a lot of my job before was to fix when people either didn't locate it right didn't have a locate at all and they started excavating and they cut a line and you have to go fix it so it, it can cost you your life and it can cost you a lot of money so you know money can be uh, made every day but lives can't be brought back so that's the main important thing that we try to look at it's not so much we're scared to uh, hit a line and cost the company money but more so we all want to go home with uh, 10 fingers 10 toes two eyes two ears one nose you know we want to go home to our family safe at the end of the day this is a job and we're playing in the dirt but we want to be safe while we're doing it so folks if you enjoyed this video please comment down below and uh let us know what you think and uh don't forget to hit that like button uh i just want to mention one thing while i've got you here on our last video that we did we hit 
right now as this video is being recorded we hit 21 likes our goal was a goal of 20 uh, this video is going to be published uh, let's see Friday which will be the 21st of May and that's when this video will be up and what I want to do I would love on this video if we could do it with your guys's help if we could get 30 likes I'm gonna bump it up a little bit to 10 if we get 30 likes I've got something planned uh, special and probably going to do it in about a week a uh, week or so and i'm thinking about doing a live stream uh, for you guys on youtube and kind of where you guys can come and hang out leisurely and uh, kind of do like a q a question setup deal and just see where the topics take us you know sit down in a live capacity it'll be the first one that this channel's ever done but i think it'll be cool and it'll be a neat reward for you guys uh as long as you uh as long as you guys are interested in it so let me know about in the comments what you think about that idea i'd be i'd be happy to do it love to do it and we appreciate you hitting that uh like goal on the previous video and uh we'll go from there so let me know what you think guys there's been another really good project glad we could do it this is why we tried dirt works and like always we appreciate you